The New Haines Lacewell Police and Fire Training Facility is a new city facility that will be opening in late 2019 and it is designed to better the training efforts of both the police and the fire department. The property is located at 3100 Hearst Street and basically if you're standing looking at the proposed new building, Creekwood is to the right of the building and the new Independence Boulevard extension, Evans Street, will be to the left. To be a police officer in this day's culture, it is very training intensive. Training is just ongoing for our people. We'll do um, management training for our upper level um, staff folks. We have a SWAT team that we have as a standby based on a worst case scenario because we have a lot going on globally with active shooters and other deals. Well, we have to train those men and women. We have bomb squads. We have our average everyday patrol officer that has that one-on-one -on -one contact with the public and sometimes they may have to deal with people that's not in the right mental state. So we do crisis intervention training, CIT, we do de-escalation training, we'll be able to do basic law enforcement training academies, we will be able to do seminars, we will be able to do canine training both indoor and outdoor, and we're going to construct a standalone mat defensive tactics room where we do subject control, where we do handcuffing. Sometimes police officers, they have to lay hands on people and they have to tussle. And we're trying to um, equip our officers with the best techniques for if they do have to go hand to hand that they don't get hurt and we use the least amount of force that's um, required. In addition to the police needs, the fire department was running out of space for their training staff. So they basically will have administrative space inside of the facility and they will have some space to do simulations. So this training facility is going to get a lot of use just meeting a lot of needs that we have as an agency. The state of North Carolina requires all officers to qualify with every weapon that they carry annually. And the firing range will be 10 lanes and 100 yards, basically 300 feet. So it's going to look like a wind tunnel. And some people will say, well, why so long? Well, certain weapons that we have, you have to qualify from a longer distance. When you start getting into shotguns and rifles, you're talking 40 to 100 yards, depending on what the um, weapon is. The range itself will incorporate a lot of technology. Um, one of the concerns with indoor firing ranges is the lead and the air. So we will have massive um, air handlers that will push the air away from our employees to keep them safe when they're inside of the facility. The building itself will sit approximately 200 feet from the property line from Creekwood. We wanted citizens to see what they could potentially be getting with this new range that we were building. So we took um, two citizen groups on trips. When we went to Charlottesville, we were actually comparing apples to apples with the way that our facility will be built. So what we did is we did the test. We measured off at 200 feet from the property line from Creekwood. We had some residents walk that 200 feet. We had a few that didn't want to walk the whole 200 feet and they stood about 100 feet. And we had our um, range master go in and he fired off about 50 rounds and we were standing out there talking and they were wanting to know when was he going to shoot. And I was like, he fired those rounds about three or four minutes ago. So that's how quiet this facility will be. Chief Evangelist was adamant that we wanted the public to be included in what we're doing in this building. We did not want this building to be seen as a fenced-in compound where the public sees police cars going in and out. So some of the things that we want to do to include the public, um, our Housing Authority Task Force, they work with Boy Scouts over at Creekwood. So we want the Boy Scouts to be able to have a place that they can have their meetings. We want to do Citizens Academies at the um, facility. We're going to have an outdoor canine area where we'll have bleachers set up where we can do canine demonstrations. Public meetings. We really want the community to understand that this is your building and that you're a part of this. It is important for the Wilmington Police Department and the Wilmington Fire Department to have updated facilities, but we can offer the best services to our citizens. We are that last line of defense. We are your public safety, and we want to make sure that when you pick up the phone and you call 911, not only do we get there, but we get there with the best tools that we have available to us. And a lot of that stems back to training.